stop to think that toys may have a life of their own? You don't think they do, eh? Well, they have in Storyland. Our tale today is about a little tin soldier who had more adventures in one day than most people have in their whole lives. He was a small plain soldier and had been given as a Christmas present to a little boy who wasn't too pleased. Why, it doesn't move. There isn't even a place to wind it up. Give it to me, then. I've got a ballerina doll that can't do anything either. She just stands there. This silly soldier can guard my doll. All right. I'm going to play with my wind-up soldiers. So the little tin soldier joined the other toys on the playroom table. And even though he couldn't talk, he did a great deal of thinking. How pretty she is. Even though I'm only a common tin soldier, I'll guard her with my life. He has such a kind face. I wish I could reach him. And that night, when all the household was asleep, it was the toys' turn to play. The dolls had a tea party. The mechanical soldiers marched up and down. The music box played and the top spun all by themselves. Only the little tin soldier remained steadfastly at attention. And the little doll went on holding out her arms and neither of them moved a muscle. I will love her as long as I live. How I wish he would stand a little closer. But unknown to them, they had an enemy. I don't like the way they look at each other. The doll is mine. I must get rid of this intruder. The next morning, the boy moved the tin soldier onto the windowsill, and the wicked jack-in-the-box saw his chance. I know how to work my own spring. I'll give him a surprise. <laughs> The little soldier has fallen out. What do I care? He can't move, so he's no good to me anyway. I suppose I should try to call out, but one shouldn't shout when one is in uniform. I wonder if anyone will ever find me. And before long, someone did find him. Hey, look what I've got. He's pretty funny looking. Let's make a boat and put him in it. Here, this old paper will do. Swiftly, the two boys fashioned a crude sailing boat. And with the little soldier standing beside the mast, they set it down in the gutter. On your way, little man. Look at him go. Look at him go. My word, I've always wanted to go on a voyage, but I didn't think it would be like this. If only she were here with me, I wouldn't care how rough it was. Suddenly, the boat was swept into a covered drain. Dear me, how dark it is. And the water is getting faster and faster. I must remain at attention whatever happens. Then the boat shot out of the drain and into a great canal. And it's starting to rain. This is too much. My boat's beginning to break up. My poor ballerina, shall I ever see you again? Goodbye, world. Goodbye. But there were more surprises in store for the little soldier. As he began to sink, a most amazing thing happened. My goodness, it's dark in here. And how this fish does twist and turn. Someone must have him on the line. How right he was. And now the most astonishing events began. It's awfully quiet all of a sudden. Now what's going on, I wonder? My word, that was close. Why, look at this. Did you ever see such a thing? It looks like my soldier, all right. He's no good without his paint, though. He was no use anyway. What good is a soldier that can't even march? I'll stick him up here beside that silly dog. Now at last, the little tin soldier was standing close enough to his lady love to touch her, if he could move his arms. So there they stood. He at attention, and she with her arms held out to him. So near and yet so far. How 
gallant and brave he looks. If only I could tell him how much I care for him. How sweet she is. And I thought I'd never see her again. But I dare not reach out to her. I'm still on duty, even if my colors have run. But the wicked jack-in-the-box was not through with them yet. Sensing their loving thoughts, he became enraged. Gah! Look at them. It's more than I can stand. This time, I'll finish both of them. With a terrific spring, he swept them both off the table. What did you do that for? I didn't touch it. You did. Didn't, did. Didn't, did. Didn't. Together, the sweethearts lay motionless on the floor. <laughs> now look what you've done. I didn't touch it. Well, it's no use now. And she's no use either. Look at the mess she's in. I'll throw them in the toy chest. At least they'll be out of the way. And they were indeed out of the way. And together at last. So you see, you shouldn't ignore toys because they are plain or broken, for they may have a life of their own. And our little doll and her steadfast tin soldier, why, they lived happily ever after.